Okay, so what I wanted to go over today, and hopefully you can see all this on here, is Calus Efficiency Codes PO420 and PO430. I have a 2006 Ford Explorer 4.6 liter V8, and it has a cat that has gone downhill. It's not doing any kind of conversion anymore, and it's basically mirroring the front O2 sensor. Now what the PCM is looking for when it monitors the catalyst to make sure it's working is that the downstream O2 sensor, the one after the catalyst, has little to no oxygen left, which means the voltage is going to be high, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, somewhere in that region, and basically as long as the engine's warmed up and that catalyst is lit off, around 550 degrees or so, it starts to light off on there and start doing its conversion and its work with the fine metals inside of there, the precious metals. Um, it's going to look for that 0.7 to 0.8, the high up on here, and it'll just stay there. And basically that means that it's, it's given the cat enough oxygen through the cycles here so that it can work down below there and do its conversion process and make sure it cleans the exhaust up. So this one right here is bank 2, sensor 1, and that's going to do switching for the air-fuel ratio. Like normal, that's totally normal. Okay, and this is the downstream monitoring that uh, bank two cat. And you can see it's basically straight. It's staying steady. I mean, it's starting to fail. Of course, we're at idle. We're not that hot yet. But you can see it's basically straight. It's using all the oxygen up, and the voltage is high. Now you look at bank one, and the upstream, just fine. Switching just fine, right? Look at the sensor on bank one after the cat. It's mirroring the upstream. It means nothing's happening. The fuel ratio is going lean and rich, and it's doing the same thing downstream of the cat. It's not doing anything. And this is what the PCM is looking for when it sets those codes. One of the conditions that it's, it, it's looking for besides temperature and all that uh, to do the catalyst monitor on there. So if you have a PO420 code, 430 code, every time I've seen those codes, there's no fixing it with, with, uh, with any kind of uh, other fixes like clean, cleaners or anything like that. The catalyst is already damaged and it's already inactive. Now one other thing I do is I'll actually raise the RPM of the engine up and I'll get it so more exhaust is going past the catalyst faster so that it's converted faster. Of course usually it gets hotter so it should be able to handle it. So maybe a flat line and then I put the RPM up to around 2500 or so and the, the downstream will start cycling. It just cannot handle it. It's starting to fail. Whereas this one, even idle, high RPM, it's just, it's inactive. And you can see, look at that, boom, mirroring the upstream O2. Now what you also have to realize is why did the cat fail? Cats are supposed to last 150,000 miles easy. This one doesn't have 100,000 miles on it. It isn't known to be dirty engine. Yes, there are PCM calibration updates a lot of times. There's been recalls. There's been TSBs. There's been extended warranties on the catalyst on these Fords, uh, especially on the Super Duties and all that stuff. Um, and it says replace the cat with, with the, basically the same cat, but make sure you reflash the PCM also and that's when they usually have extended warranties and all so there is other factors besides the usual factors which is oil coolant uh, misfires that are left you know left uh, left without fixing and you just get that raw fuel down in there and it'll start uh, melting the cat itself all kinds of stuff like that can ruin your catalyst prematurely so you have to put two and two together why did it fail? Is it because of a calibration? Is it because the engine, engine's been running poorly for a while now? Um, what, what made it fail? And what do we need to do to make sure the new one we put on, whether it be aftermarket or Ford, they're going to be expensive, um, and you're going to need it to pass emissions, obviously. So you got to make sure you find out what caused it to fail in the first place. Now on Escapes, with the 3.0 dock in it, any kind of misfires in those, it'll kill that cat right away. And the reason why is because it's sending the raw fuel down, right? Just like any engine. 
but the cat is actually part of the exhaust manifold. So yeah, it lights up really quick, and it gets warm really quick and starts converting real quick. That was the whole reason behind it, but guess what? Any kind of fuel that goes down, it, it gets hot really quick from the fuel, and the fire is actually happening inside of the cat, and it'll melt it down really quick, and that's a very expensive job.